be doing some sewing and crafting today instead of gardening and I'm really excited. I'm going to make a spring rope bowl. I've made many rope bowls in the past and I've gotten a lot of views on them so I really wanted to come up with a new look to a rope bowl just using clothesline rope. So today we're going to do an azalea pink rope bowl and I've got so many azaleas in my yard. Um, they're just beautiful and um, here's a few pictures of my yard this spring. They've already gone because of the um, cold snap that we had, but I love azalea pink. So we're going to take um, this pack of clothesline that I got from Walmart. It's 3 16 inches by 100 feet. 100 feet makes a really good size bowl, so that's what you need. I prefer this rope over most other ropes that I've tried. It's 100% cotton. It's nice and stiff, makes a great bowl. I did order some rope on Amazon and I made a huge yellow bowl. It was bigger than this, so stay tuned to the end and I'll show you that graduating yellow color bowl that I made using a different rope. But today we're gonna to be using this clothesline rope and we're, I always dye with acrylic paints. I don't use red dye um, and I've had real, they're very inexpensive, they're easy, it is permanent um, on your bowl. But today we're gonna to be using different kinds of pink. I picked up these three colors from Walmart. There is pink eraser, princess pink, and candy pink. Now, I already had this magenta that I also got from Walmart in my stash. So, these are the colors that we're going to be using to make this bowl. I'm going to do it a little bit different. Before I've divided the rope up into four sections and colored each section, I'm going to show you a different way we're going to do it today. And instead of going out and buying a bunch of pink thread, I'm just going to use what I already have and just sew this in a random way. I want it to look like a big big bouquet of azaleas. So that's what I'm working on. But anyway, let's get started. We're gonna start dyeing the rope. It has to dry overnight. Then tomorrow we can start sewing. So please stay tuned to the end and see that yellow bowl. It is so pretty. Let's get going. Okay, first step is to mix the paint in water. And I did about two tablespoons of paint for about three um, cups of water in each bowl. I like to use these stainless steel bowls because they wash up quick. And just taking a paintbrush and mixing all these colors. Now, a little later in the video, you're gonna see where I wanted it darker, so I'm going to add some more paint um, to the rope. But right now, this is a good place to start. Okay, after I mixed all of the paint well, I'm just taking one end of the clothesline and I'm just going to add a few feet to each bowl and kind of go around in a circle. So instead of dividing up into four as in my other videos, I'm just doing it this way. And I still ended up with a stripe, but the colors are pretty much all through the bowl. So I'm just moving around the circle and adding the rope in to the balls. And I wanna make sure that the places that are joined um, together in different colors, that they, they are well blended, that there's no break or no white in between. So I just kinda of rub some of that color up into it meets the other color. Now I continue this doing about two feet of rope per collar until I used up all hundred feet. So I just keep moving around. I kind of eyeballed it and I just kept moving it around the bowl because I wanted all my colors to kind of blend or mix together. 
Now I'm going to look at it and check it to see if I want to stay with this light color or if I want to go darker. Now I like to let mine sit for about 30 minutes, I'm soaking up the color. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I want it a little bit more vibrant. You could have left it like this and it would have been a muted color. But I've decided I want a little bit more color. So I'm adding a couple more dollops. And then I'm going to massage it into the rope. Just taking my time. Okay, now all of the rope has um, died and I've poured off the um, collar. If you want to make more than one of these, you could actually pour this into a jar of some kind and save it. I'm only making one, but now I've got all of the rope dyed the color that I would like. So I'm going to spread it out on some plastic. And normally I would just let this dry overnight, but I pulled out my fan and I'm going to try it dry it quicker so that I can get this done in one day. But you can see all the different shades of pink. And I'm just plugging in the fan and letting it dry right here on the counter. Now, while it's drying, I do move it around a bit so that the air can get all through the rope. But now it's dried. It dried in about three hours, so I was real impressed. So now I'm just going to roll it up in a ball. This makes it easier when sewing. It is a little knotted mess, but I'm going to go ahead and roll this all up into a ball and then we'll start the sewing process. Now to begin with, you're going to roll the one end of the cord into a um, little round flat area. And I would suggest that you do a crisscross straight stitch an X across that to hold it in place because it is hard to get started um, so it's zigzagging it around but you're going to be using a zigzag stitch that's wide enough to catch both pieces of rope so the needle is really basically starting in between the two pieces and then as you zigzag you're catching both sides of the rope and that's what holds the bowl together and that's all there is to it. It's just a constant zigzag. Now, I like my stitches kind of close together. Um, so I set my machine on a three and then the width, I set it on just right before five. Now, once I've gotten the base done, it's time to lift up the side. And this what is what makes your bowl by lifting up that base and you can make that base any size you want the the wider the base the wider the bowl is so I'm starting off with a small base because I want a kind of a small bowl and as you can see you just keep sewing and sewing holding it up and that's what gives the bowl its shape Now here's a better angle. You can see what I'm doing. One hand, I'm turning the bowl, and then in my right hand, I am feeding the cord, making sure I'm catching both sides of the rope. And that's all there is to it. Now I did save about two feet at the very end to make some kind of a decorative bow. So once I've got the bowl all sewn together, I wanted to make something unique for this bowl, so I kind of started out with the flower, ended up looking like a butterfly, and then it went back to looking like a flower. But I'm just gonna hot glue this in place. It's just a little easier than trying to sew this onto that bowl. So I've made a, a flower petal, and I'm gonna add a couple of more, and just using the hot glue, I just glue it in place. Now, after I got it all in place, I thought, well, it needs a little bit something more. And I went up and got my mom's box of costume jewelry, and I found the perfect piece to add right into the center of that flower. 
Now my mom loved bling and this was a pair of earrings so I just snapped off the back and I'm going to add some hot glue and just glue that right in the middle of the flower. She would have loved this bow. I just wish I could give it to her for Mother's Day. She would have loved it. So I'm just gluing that in the center. You could put anything you want in that center or you could leave it blank, but it just really added because all of those colors are also in the bowl. And that's basically it. Um, you just sew zigzag all the way around to use up all of the rope. azalea colors it just looks so nice and I love the little bit of bling that I added to the um, front but this bowl I made it in one day I was able to get the, the cording to dry with the fan so I was able to finish this in one day and this is the 3 16 by 100 feet um, rope it's nice and stiff that's why this is my favorite rope it makes such a nice bowl I just love all these different shades of pink. All right, let me show you the yellow bowl. This is the one I made with the Amazon clothesline rope. It's a much thicker rope. Um, it's the same length as this, and it's very soft. So when I made this bowl, this is a 100-foot bowl. It was not very sturdy, so I had to coat it in Mod Podge. So, but it turned out good. It's that pretty... Um, yellow graduating color so either either um, rope works you may have to put some stiffener on it but this is my favorite I love this clothesline rope from Walmart it's hard to find but when I do see it I buy it um, and anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something if you have any questions leave those in the comments below I'd be happy to answer them if you like it, please share and subscribe and have a very blessed day, my friends.